Well, Mel Camp, guess what? We are bringing back a refreshing story that we taped in the 90s. Where were you back then, Mel, in the 90s? <laughs> in the 90s. I think I had a lot of pimples. Um, and I, I know that I definitely <laughs> had some love heart sunglasses, which was kind of seventies. Like I liked my love heart rose colored glasses. And yeah. Yeah. I was, I was trying to rebel against grunge in the nineties. <laughs> <laughs> well, early in the nineties, 1991, I had my son. So maybe this story happened just a couple of years after that, when our then and now producer Sue Dobmeyer invited me to try water skiing with a few of her friends. Take a look. Summertime, summertime, sum, sum, summertime, 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 summertime. It sure is summer and cruising the Niagara River to find the perfect spot for a novice water skier like myself isn't hard with teachers like Kevin Klein and Dana Holler. You want to start like this, you want to have, you're basically going to be in a seated position like this in the water. Uh-huh. And your skis, the tips of your skis are going to be out of the water. Uh-huh. You're going to have the rope in between the skis. You're going to have your, your knees up to your chest uh -huh. and your arms around your, uh, around your So knees. knees bent on straight. Yeah. After listening intently to my instructions, I was ready to give it a try. Hi and Kale, you're next. Now you want to have your arms extended out around your knees, then that'll give you a better pull. Okay. First try, but I don't think I'm ready for the slalom course like Kevin. This course on the West River near Niagara Falls is built to specification, and good communication between the driver and skier is the difference between making all six buoys and missing your mark. For the more advanced skier, there's a different twist. We're going to go walk on our feet. That's right, no skis, barefoot. And with a specially made boom extended off the side of the boat, Kevin and Dana's tandem barefooting is no easy task. At speeds of 38 to 40 miles per hour, the slapping of the water can take its toll on the body. Well, not better water that time, Fry. Barefooting isn't just for men, as Marsha takes to the boom, but ladies, don't try this at home. The fun on the Niagara River continued as our next adventure turned to kneeboarding. But we couldn't use just one board. Four was the magic number, with Eric, Kenny, Dana, and John showing off their flair and style. Whatever your pleasure, there's plenty to do on a hot summer day on the Niagara River. I love the music, and I gotta tell you, I never really got proficient in water skiing, but all those people in that story are still skiing and enjoying the water. So from 20 years ago, thank you so much for that great lesson. They are so good.